Hey there! In this video we'll show you how to use our single port canopy, color cord, a socket, socket cover, and hardware kit to create a shade pendant using this brass bowl. Taking a closer look at our 1 8 IPS pendant hardware kit, you'll see it includes a female barrel cord grip, one inch of all thread, a knurled nut, one metal washer, and two silicone washers. We'll use this kit to fix the socket to the brass bowl. The tools you'll need to wire your socket are a standard wire stripper, needle nose pliers, a Phillips and flathead screwdriver, masking and electrical tape, and an optional ColorCore 3000 which is perfect for removing cloth covering and PVC housing. And to work on the brass bowl you'll need a measuring tape, center punch, and a drill with 9 ths and 25 64 inch bits. First things first, flip the bowl, find the center of your bowl and mark it with a center punch. Then drill through with the 9 64 of an inch bit followed by the larger bit to open up the hole to our desired diameter. Now it's time to wire our socket. Apply a piece of masking tape to the cord and strip an inch and a half of the cloth covering and PVC housing to expose the conductor wires underneath. Apply another piece of tape to avoid the cloth covering from sliding. Then use the standard wire strippers to remove 3 8 of an inch of the conductor wire housing so you can see the stranded copper wires. Do the same thing to the other side but expose several inches. This side will go up into the canopy and be wired to the junction box. We do recommend soldering the end of your strand and copper wire for a more secure contact point. Next, grab the 1 inch all thread and apply it to the top of the socket cap then tighten down the small set screw. Then loosen the larger set screw. Now take one silicone washer and the socket cover and thread it onto the cord. Send the conductor wires through the all thread and socket cap. Using your needle nose pliers, send the green ground wire into the hole and tighten down the set screw. Grab the socket body and insert your black positive and white negative wires into the correct terminals and lock the socket together. Slide the socket cover over the socket and then the silicone washer over the all thread. Send the core through the inside of the bowl where the all thread will come through the top and the silicone washer sandwiched between the bowl and socket. In this order, apply the silicone washer, the metal washer, and knurled nut to the cord and bring it down to and over the all thread. Thread the knurled nut onto the all thread until it feels secure. Then loosen the set screw to your female barrel cord grip and thread that onto the all thread as far as it can go. Secure the cord by tightening down the cord grip set screw. Now grab the single port canopy and remove the canopy screws and rotating mount. Loosen the canopy set screw and feed the exposed ends of the cord through the canopy and tighten back down the set screw. And now it's wiring time. First things first, turn off your light switch and flip off the breaker to your junction box. Find the J-Box screw holes and attach the rotating canopy mount with the included canopy screws. Now in your J-Box, you'll see a black positive, white negative, and green, sometimes bare, ground wire. Connect these wires to the corresponding wires from your canopy and twist them together with the included wire nuts and secure with electrical tape. Push all the wires up into the junction box. Line up the canopy screws to the canopy mount and thread in the canopy side screws. And you are all set. Screw in your favorite LED bulb, flip back on the breaker and light switch, and enjoy. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions or concerns. Thanks for watching.